Hi guys, welcome back to emmacatfish.com. I literally have not filmed a vlog, weekly vlog, spend a day with me in so long. I've just been really disconnected from filming quite a lot. Um, and I'm sorry about that. Sometimes I go through these weird stages where I'm just like, I don't want to film. Let me explain to you what's been going on. Do we see this? Any men still want to buy some foot pics? Hit me up. I have just started to like love French nails, like French tip nails on my feet. Like, oh my God, mwah. I'm done for the first time ever before I beef it. And I was like, oh my God, I love them. Had them on for seven weeks. How are they still on seven weeks later? So I went and got them redone and I didn't really like the length of them before. So I was like, please, can you just leave them the length that they've grown out? Like they were like longer. So Mania's like, are you sure? Mm, in that moment, I probably should have said to him, actually, no, cut them. But no, I was like, yeah. And he like did a little chuckle and I'm thinking, how rude. And now I'm like looking back like, yeah, you could see the future. I go out on Saturday night. I was running around with no heels on, right? Bear in mind the streets are copper. They're like bumpy, right? And I kept hitting my, my nail all night with my heels on. But the final time when I hit this nail, my, my nail, <laughs> it would just make, there was everywhere. It was everywhere. It was dripping, dripping, dripping as I was walking. It's raining. I was like so drunk. I was like crying. I was sobbing. Wrapped it up the next morning, rang 111. It was fully off. And I was like, that is literally going to get an infection if I leave that. So they were like, you need to come like within the next 20 minutes. And, oh my God, this doctor was probably one of the nicest doctors I've ever met, right? And he was like, he looked at it and he was like, yeah, that's off. That, that's basically off. And I was like, oh. And I was like, am I going to have to get it pulled off? He was like, I think so. And he was like, right, let's numb it up and we'll, we'll look so I can like actually look at it and like maybe we can save the nail because I said to him I said listen I'm not gonna get a boyfriend if I ain't got a toenail on this foot again he's gonna look down at my feet and be like ew but he was like listen you don't need a boyfriend anyway I was like yeah true oh my god he put this numbing shit in my toe and it went huge and it was like white and it went like all like a, a bright white color oh he basically just sort of like I think he just like cut around the edge of my toenail he's like right we've saved the nail bed it should grow back, it is gonna fall out, but it should grow back because we've managed to save the nail bed. So I was like, okay, thank you. I was like, someone was like, I wanna give him some money or something, like this is amazing. So yeah, I come back and I literally just, boom, straight fast asleep, like for four hours and I never nap me. I don't like napping because I wake up and I get so, what is the word? Disoriented. But yeah, that was a story about how I pretty much lost my toenail. Let's do number one thing on a Monday, strip the bedding. There we go. <laughs> okay, let's go put this in the washer. The pod's in. I've put some of this um, like stain remover in as well. Oh my God, look at this as well. I've had to put this on because it hurts so bad and it's straining my foot. Anyway. Wow, that's really pretty. I've cleaned the bath and now I'm running in the bath, okay? Pamper is starting so that I can go and work because I've just got so many parcels. Need to clean this room now. Um, it is an absolute stay. Here's a before of the room. Also, I really need a wardrobe to wardrobe your clothes, so stay tuned for that one, because it's crazy. Honestly, I'm really rocking this look. I'm seriously looking so cute right now. I've actually cleaned the room, but now I've made it a mess again because I'm sorting out my boots. Because I've got loads of trainers, and I want to put them on a shelf there and then put the boots on top. So that's what I'm doing, but I've just broke off. Um, and I'm having some like brunch. Some bread and butter with some leek and potato soup. This is my favorite soup ever, it's a Heinz one. I got my rollers in, I'm ready to do a little bit of work. The shelves ain't looking good. I put the boots on the top, added another shelf in there. But oh my God, I have got so much in this box from like Fox Boutique and I feel like if there's anything that can make me feel better and cheer me up, it is a white foxhole. So I think I want to just go through some stuff in this and show you what I got. I'm going to put this on first because look, it's like a green little lounge set. I was literally like, yeah, let's have a productive day. And I'm already doing a haul. I have got the biggest box ever. This is crazy. Okay, so let's get straight into it. As always, my discount code is Lucy. Uh, future Lucy, ignore me, it's Lucy L-Y-T, okay? Lucy L-Y-T, so like YouTube, you know? Um, so make sure to use that discount code if you want any money off. I'm gonna start on this first set. Um, this is sold separately. It is the most prettiest set ever, I love it. I never go for like flared bottoms ever, 
But maybe I'm like a changed woman now because I actually love these. I just thought, oh my god, these would look really good on my body. I always get really hyped up for autumn stuff because their autumn and winter stuff are just unreal. And I feel like this is a good set to wear for autumn. But I also thought this would be a good airport outfit as well. Anyone's got any like holidays coming up, like winter holidays? I mean, I know it's still summer, but it's autumn next month, you know. Or you just want a cute set for autumn time. And then this. Is it? You know I was trying to find some like more cold night stuff. When I seen this, I was like, you're coming with me. It is so cute. It is like the most thick padded, fluffiest little gilet, gillet, no gilet, um, I've ever seen, ever. And you know, the minute these start to, to come out, I'm like, oh my God. <gasps> I just love that time of year. I'm a winter baby, so I just love anything like this. I love winter, and this is so cute because it's cropped. I love cropped jackets and cropped gilets, okay? Because obviously, like, you know, there's no reason why I like them. It's just, you know. Even got pockets, and I'm not even kidding. This is like the softest, nicest gilet I have ever felt. The padding in this is like a cloud. I'm not kidding, it's it's so soft. Yeah, I thought I'm gonna pick that up. I'm gonna take this off because I really do not want to stain that. And the thing is with me, I will have some on for like minus two seconds and I'll just get it dirty, so yeah. Oh my God, right, I'm so upset about this. I'm gonna show you these anyway, um, but as you know, my toe, she's going through it, okay? It's ready to pop off. In the next two weeks so unfortunately i'm not gonna be able to try these shoes on but obviously i'm still gonna show you them i'm just gonna pop some little try-ons on the screen of like what they look like on and um, you'll be able to get a good idea of what they look like anyway boot season is on its way i literally am obsessed and it's so weird because today i was cleaning out all my boots i was like putting them all back on a different shelf and i was like i don't have any like really sick black leather boots i'm really gonna need to get some and i'm here with them I completely forgot about these, but they're so pretty. But honestly, I feel like they look really small. Like, I've got quite big feet. I'm so sorry I can't try them on. And I'm so upset about that. I'm not getting my little stubby toe out. But yeah, how pretty are those? Next up is this dress I want to try on. How beautiful is this colour? This is the colour that I want my bridesmaids to be wearing when I get married. If I get married. If my future husband's watching this right now, then just remember this dress, okay? And just remember, like... You know, when you're setting it all up in Santorini, that like this is what I want to get proposed to in. So I feel like this is such a gorgeous, like, proposal dress. Just me on the beach, like, oh my god, like, I have no idea what's about to happen. Like, gathers all here and then, like, goes out. So you can, like, see a little bit of a leg. It's kind of sexy, but, like, cute. Um, I don't know if this is a bit too much for a wedding, like, a wedding guest dress. I don't think that I could wear this for, as, like, a wedding guest. So. Maybe not wear this next week, but it's still really cute. And I feel like I could wear it on like a nice holiday. I love the one shoulder cut as well. I just think that's so classic. And if you're looking for bridesmaid dresses, this is a good one to go for. Or like the races, prom, formal, whatever. This is stunning, right? So keep this in mind if you like it. I'm gonna try this one on next. Um, it, This is a red little halter neck dress. And honestly, if I could be a dress this would be it because it's just a short cute hollow night red dress and i love it i literally got this in a size small not even an extra small and it's still doing some every time i wear hot night dresses or like bodysuits they never ever give me any kind of cleavage like literally nothing and you can see a small one with this and this is what i'm saying about white folks every time from the moment i first ever did a collab with them i was like these clothes a different level Um, i want to go to italy i think i'm gonna go travel in italy for a bit i don't know when i think like october and this is gonna come with me because how cute is this this is such like an italy dress i didn't even realize the back but how cute is that that would look adorable for like an insta pic strolling through italy next i'm gonna pair two things together i'm gonna pair this little top with this skirt which is absolutely beautiful look at that oh my god i can't wait to wear that with boots this is what i mean when i say that the quality and the material is like magic because like look at this where have they come from like i swear i have not just got off like it's turkey and got them done like seriously these are my real bits it's giving a lift without any chicken fillets and that's how you know it's good 
quite. So it's a cute little um, double layered corset top. Little white cost top with like lace cut detail. This skirt is a winner for me. When I literally put this on, I was like, this is the nicest quality skirt I own. And that's that's a big statement to make because I've got a lot of skirts. This is the nicest one. Especially the fact that it's white, you can't see a thing. Like you cannot see anything. White is such a hard colour to go for. It's like hit or miss. Is it gonna be see through, is it not? But this is stunning. I knew it would be perfect because it's white box. Oh my god, I forgot that I got this. It's like a black black maxi dresses on my life i can't explain how much i love black midi and maxi dresses like i say in every bloody video but seriously look it's like cut out at one side it's very simple but classy very basic but elegant right i love it it's giving like rich classy mom vibes like this is my style like i love this style so much and it's so figure again feels good on and it actually has like a slit at the bottom as well which I love it's giving like hourglass a little bit you know the like side it's giving that illusion um, and I love that I did get a little romper as well because I feel like rompers do look really good in like autumn time with boots and a gilet or like a puff sleeve this one's like short sleeve but but we're just gonna try it anyway it's double layered again it's like a ribbed material it's so stretchy and it doesn't make me feel conscious of this area which sometimes i do because they're too tight but this one's so good i think i got it in a size small and it's just so figo again and i love the neckline of it like these with boots just look so good and um yeah i think it's like a little bit of a scoop neck back scoop neck back scoop back Oh my god, yes. This is the only romper that I have felt comfortable enough in to go out in. I love it. I'm not kidding. This is so nice. Oh my god, I got another hoodie as well. Hoodie, jumper. It's sand. Sand. Right? And honestly, if you watch me, you'll know I've got every single colour of this jumper. This is the only colour that I don't have in this style. And now I've got them all. Woo! I've worn my other one out so much. Like, my grey one is like, it's so worn out. But I'm still gonna wear it. I thought, let's get a new one. This looks so nice. It's so cute. I love it. It's just like neutral vibes. Like, let's go grab like an iced coffee. These are so good to travel in. The majority of the time, I'm wearing a white fox jumper because it's just so comfortable. Like, the actual inside of it as well is really fleecy um, and soft. And I always sleep on the plane. Or like, I don't sleep on a train because I've missed where I'm going, but you know what I mean? Like I sleep on a plane when I'm traveling and I always wear these because they're just so roomy. Like this is a small slash medium and it's just so roomy. Okay, I'm going to stop going on now. You know I love white fox. I just wanted to show you some of the bits I got because I'm obsessed. If you want to get anything, then the code is LucyLYT. I'll leave it below. I'll leave the links below. Happy shopping. I'm looking crazy. I've got red lipstick on because I've just done an insta pick and the insta pick was for like this red jumpsuit and i just thought it would go really well and now i'm like oh my god it's kind of cute i am so hungry i'm going to make some pesto pasta i'm not liking the like achy feeling that i'm getting in my leg so i was getting like anesthetic in it yesterday it's like aching so bad, like horrible shooting aching pains up it and I'm scared. And I'm gonna make my girl dinner TikTok so I've not even done like a girl dinner. Girl, girl dinner. Oh my God, why would I have a pesto over one there? Okay, we don't actually have any, but even better. And this isn't my girl dinner, but I do love mascarpone sauce and I've not actually tried this one before. I'm not gonna actually eat it. Oh, way better. Way better than pesto. So when my mum calls me, she's like, oh, we're at Max and Spencer's now. Um, I'm going to ask her to just get me like a big tray of pathetic rolls. Because I'm hungry. Like, I'm really hungry. Just really want some chocolate. I'm hungry. And I love shit food. Um, I'm always like, oh my God, I want to be like a healthy queen. Like, I want to eat salmon and like lettuce and all. But like, that's just not gonna happen. And they're like, my carbs. It's just how it is. Yummy. A little pasta. A little bug has just gone into the fridge and I hate that. Because one, it might poison the food and two, it's a poor bug. 
I don't know about anyone else, like I'm genuinely not taking the piss either. And I know people are gonna be like, oh my god, like you're such like a pick me girl, like you're just acting dumb. Like you're just acting stupid, like for the camera. But I'm being dead serious. If I see like a tiny little spider or a tiny little bug and like say I'm in the shower, it happens all the time when I'm in the shower, I feel so bad for it. And I, and I save it, I save it. Stop everything I'm doing, I save it. I'm growing cheese. I'm just eating all cheese. I love cheese so much. We cooking the pasta. It's got two minutes left. So I'm so excited. This is gonna be first time we're trying that. It just smells like regular bloody masculine sauce. Anyway, I'm gonna grate some of this so I can put some in. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, look how beautiful that looks. So yummy. I'm gonna go demolish this. Who bets I can eat the whole thing? Who bets? Because I know that I will. I'm, I'm literally stuffed. Like, that was too much. There's so much pasta there. And my mum couldn't even get my bear rolls, but it doesn't matter because I don't need them. Um, but yeah, sad time. Hey guys. I'm gonna put my bedding on soon. I've got loads of like fresh washing, so I'm just gonna put it in piles. Um, got loads of PJs, pajamas. Oh wait, wrong pile. Pajamas, pajamas. Oh, g-string. What is that? Little bra. Um, PJ. Don't you like my story? The audacity of some boys is a joke. I'm gonna get my clothes. Um, and just shove them in the back room and then it's all about tomorrow because I'm not doing that right now. Oh my god, I didn't even show you my new drawers. These are my new drawers. It, it took me like three hours to put together. But they're so nice and they're worth it because they're just pretty. Um, but yeah, remember, self-care is making your room look cosy. And having fresh bedding, like that is my, my self-care. So I'm going to change the batteries in this. Oh my god, it looks so cosy. I love flowers and little like warm lamps. Oh my god, it looks so pretty. Um, I got that from home bargains ages ago. I was just obsessed with it. Um, and I'm gonna put some batteries in my fairy lights as well. Hopefully they'll work. Let's see if they work. Look how cute that looks. I'm obsessed. I've got my nice herbal tea. I'm gonna put my bedding on. Um, is it two days later? Yeah. And I've not even put my bed on yet. Yeah. My bedding's down there. I'm gonna put it on, but I feel like I wasn't productive enough in this vlog. So let's go clean my car. This is my gorgeous, gorgeous girl outfit to clean my car with. Oh my god. I'm gonna get the hoover and lots of cleaning stuff. And we're gonna clean. I'm gonna film a TikTok cleaning the car, but look at that. That is so bad. I have dogs in here. I have all my mates in here eating. Look. That is pug hair. So yeah, I'm gonna clean this out. I'm gonna take these out first. And then get all out. Oh my God, I've just emptied everything out of these compartments. There was like chewing gum in here. Loads of like sticky stuff. Oh, and I found this that like actually just goes in there for the drinks. I'm gonna like clean that and put that back in because that was in there. Um, I think that's good for when you've got like them big fat heavy and bottles of water which I drink all the time, as you can see. So that's why I take that out. It's better without it, but yeah. I'm gonna clean that now because look, it's disgusting. And that's everything out of my car. There was like a hair extension, Coco's chew. It's disgusting. <laughs> literally the next week now and I'm sat at it in this and I'm like loose didn't even show the finished result of the car I'm gonna look at my key and I'm gonna show you it might be a bit untidy now because it was a week ago but I'll still show you right it is looking a bit messy still I'm not gonna lie um because I've had people in here since cleaning it I bought that from B&M new little uh chewing gum tub there's nothing in there and that's all clean nothing in there and oh Throw that out. I'm pretending to see that, but yeah, 
it is looking a lot cleaner. There's nothing in the side compartments. That is quite nice on that. Obviously, this is a bit messy because it's where I drive. But I also keep this in my car now. You girls will know this smell. This is like Zoella 2013 kind of smell. Basically, I had it in my pyjama drawer, right? I used to reach to like spray this on myself. And then like a few of my friends were like, Lewis, that's so strong. Like, how do you even smell that? Like, how do you even spray that? And I was like, oh my gosh. Maybe this is why I'm single. No, I'm kidding. But I was like, right, okay. A few people said that now. Maybe I'm going to just not bother spraying this. um, Because it is a bit, like, much. But I like to keep it in the car. I'll still spray it on me if I need, like, a quick spritz of something. Like, before the gym or after the gym. Whatever. Um, but it's good for your car. It's so good for your car. I just spritz it on the mats. And it smells like, for a good week straight, people come in the car. It still smells beautiful. So, yeah, it's a strong smell, and that's why maybe people were like, whoa, it's a crazy smell. Um, but then I did get some compliments on it in uh, when I went to an event once, actually, in Manchester. This girl was like, oh, my God, that's not fairy. I was like, yeah. Um, she's like, I love that smell. I was like, it's good, isn't it? But it's oh, strong, but it's nice. I'm going to, like, use a bit for me. Use a bit for the car, it's just there. I put it in the side compartment, can't even see it. Um, you know, if I'm ever picking up like a hot bar or something, then I'll just spray it. <laughs> I never pick up hot bar. It's looking fresh, it's looking good, it's looking clean. So that's all I care about. And all the back is as well, because that was full of like clubs. There's like random like Pepsi cans and bottles and shit. I don't know. Anyway, I'll let you watch the rest of the video. Is it the next day now? Yeah. I'm, I'm an unproductive gal this week. It's because of this bloody tour. It should make me feel better if the bed's done. Um, I might make this a weekly vlog. It's Thursday. Who cares? Um, I feel like I've not done a lot in this vlog because I've just been a lazy... It feels so good to have a clean car now. So unmotivated. And I don't know why. My ovulation, yeah, is how my periods used to be. Like, I used to be really like, oh, when I was on my period. Now my periods are a freaking breeze. And it's actually the ovulation that's worse. I can't believe that took under 10 minutes. Crazy. But that's the bed done. I'm going to take the pots down because I'm obviously collecting them. Uh, so they need to go. I've had a shower um, and got my fresh bedding on. And I'm going to get ready because I'm going to go see my friend for a Starbucks. So I thought I'd do like a little get ready with me in the floor work. Um, I'm only doing like the bare minimum, right? I'm going to definitely get a chocolate frappuccino. Need to hydrate my skin because it's so dry. Um, I can't even lie, I'm feeling so drained at the moment, and it's because I'm ovulating, like my hormones are so bad. I'm not even able to walk cocoa because doing a long walk in that boot is, is not possible, like, it's not gonna happen. I'm not doing it. I can't go to the gym, I've just got a bloody gym membership, and I can't even go, and I'm just. Oh, I'm feeling shit. I don't know why I picked up a camera because I'm just being so... Ugh. I just keep getting up in the morning and just like not excited. Like usually I'm excited when I get up. I'm like, yeah, let's tackle a day. And like this toe's just pacing me off. I think it's the lack of exercise because I love exercise and it releases endorphins. And it feels so good. Like coming back from the gym, I feel so good. Coming back from a walk, I feel so good. Hopefully bronzing up my face. I feel better. I'm like in a mood today where I'm like, you know what? I can't wait to get into my fresh bed in and like watch a good film or something because right now I'm just really feeling pooey. <laughs> How many times do you want to say it, Lucy? We all know you feel like shit. I love my Starbucks. I've been getting Starbucks like nearly every day. <laughs> Cause like, what else can I do? I should have really vlogged my whole like to experience. I think that would have been quite funny. I love minimal makeup, you know, like that literally has took me under five minutes to do. Listen, you could say to me, right, be ready in half an hour and I'll, I'll be brown. I'll be like, all right. I mean, it depends if it's a hair wash and stuff, but usually makeup like this takes me two minutes. Lip liner, boom, boom, boom. Let me put a bit of Carmex on. Okay, I can't find my brow pen, whatever. 
I'm just gonna straighten my hair. Looks like it's gonna rain, which is literally so exciting. Um, not. I really do need some hormone tablets or something. Like, I'm not on the pill. Um, I'm not on anything like that. No contraception. I'm just needing not that. Not that. That makes me worse. But like, maybe some like herbal remedies. My mum got me primrose like once. I didn't take it. I should have probably took that. But I just don't know. I need something because I am a happy person. I'm always bubbly. Like nothing gets me down. And then like, as soon as the period comes, like I'm just ugh. Like, any. Ovulations, the ovulations just getting worse. Okay, I feel a bit better now. I've got changed, to be honest. So, we're good. We're good. I'll show you what I'm wearing in a sec. So, this is what I'm wearing. Pretty boring. Um, just like this uh, bodysuit and some leggings and this little bag. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna wear this with a black leather jacket, but I kind of want to wear black leggings because I just feel like people are gonna stare at my front section in these if you know what i mean but hashtag yolo i mean like look if you really want you know no, i'm kidding um yeah so i'm gonna go and get myself a chocolate cream frappuccino guess who forgot to finish the vlog me um i tried to make it a weekly vlog i really did not do a good job at it but i'm gonna do a weekly vlog this week i'm in best spirits this week i'm ready to start the week vlogging because i've just been so unproductive and lazy the past week I, I couldn't exercise because of my toe i literally could not exercise all last week and i was just so miserable but today i took myself out for a, an hour's dog walk this morning and as soon as i got up and i just feel great today so i promise you yeah if you actually do feel like oh i know it's hard to just drag yourself up but i promise you you'll feel so much better for it even just like 10 minutes 10 minute walk anything like that it makes you feel so much better. And Coco feels better too, don't you, Coco? You have a good work here. All right, fair enough then. Um, I will be seeing you again. I'm gonna be doing some of them like massive clean with me's like soon because I need to sort it out. I need to sort my wardrobe out. I need to sort my room out. I need to sort my makeup room. I need to sort my makeup desk out, my vanity. So keep an eye out for them. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Au revoir. <laughs> Then drop them drawers I know what you are I ask myself, is this shit real?